everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So my first ever 3D print went absolutely amazingly. And since I've done that, and now it's been finished and it's on my lamp, I've been itching to print something different. So I don't want to print some random stuff and have a whole pile of plastic of stuff that I just don't use. So the next thing that I wanted to print had to be useful. And an idea popped into my head. Me and Rob love to fight over this tripod. We've only got one shoe for it and two cameras. So the process usually goes, hey, can I use that? Take the shoe off, put it on my camera. Hey, can I use that? Take the shoe off, put it on Rob's camera. And it, can, and it does become very long-winded. So the first thing that I did was to jump on Thingiverse. Type in the tripod manufacturer and type the shoe after it and lord behold, someone's already made one and it seems like it's going to fit perfectly. So that's something that I thought was really useful and I want to talk about that a little bit more. The reason why I wanted to talk about this a little bit more is because my first intention wasn't to actually jump on Thingiverse. My first intention was to actually go out and buy a new shoe for this Monfran Manfronto tripod. But to my absolute disbelief, a new shoe for this tripod would set me back around 1999, which I was just like, well, I'm not going to be paying that. So then the bright idea come along to go on Thingiverse and take a look and just to see if they have a shoe for this tripod. And to my absolute surprise, they do. But that's not even the best part, because when I actually downloaded that file and put it into Chittybox, sliced it, it gives you a time that it's going to take and how much resin you're actually going to be using. So it's around a 30 minute print and this print would cost me a grand total of 31 cents, which is actually absolutely insane. So I think that's a really cool, useful print for sure. So let's go down and take a look. Here we are at the printer and I've already stuck the file that I need to print out onto this USB. So let's just print it off. Our print has now been completed and I've already washed it and cleaned it and now it's actually ready to rock and roll. But you're probably going to notice something. There is one thing missing and I've got that right here. It's a universal screw which actually attaches the, the shoe onto the camera. So basically that goes through the bottom like that, gets held in by a circlip and then that gets permanently fixed to my camera from now on. Right, so let's do that and see if it fits. Right, so this next bit is going to be recorded freehand because I need to use the tripod and I need to show you guys the shoe. So, here it is attached. How cool does that look? Right, now let's see if it fits on this tripod right here. Okay, so this is going to be my first test. Let's see if it works. Oh, wow. Okay, no, that's really in there. So that fits perfectly. And there we go. So right this second, I am now recording this part of the video using that new tripod shoe and it's holding it absolutely perfectly. And I just thought that was such a useful thing that you could actually do with this 3D printer. And that's why I thought I would decide to record this video. And now for the best part, me and Rob don't have to fight over the tripod shoe. So I guess I'll draw that up as a win in my book. There's one last thing that I'd like to say before we wrap up this video. So as a grand total, we saved ourselves around 19 pounds and something pence, which I'm actually gonna draw up as another win. And with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.